body of Luke Ashton. Warriors hold the puck in. Fosco, a shot from the right side. Went off a stick to the corner. Van Hukachero left point. Brooks across right side. Now it's Fosco. Left wing. Van Hukachero tried to drag it on his forehand. He lost the handle. Got it back again. Now for Brooks to the front of the net. Skips one. Scores! Well, I really don't know how that went in, but obviously it was screened. Uh a real heavy screen and somehow it made it in, Trevor. Dylan Brooks from the left point just knuckled that puck to the front of the goal. I think it took a couple of hops in front of heavily screened Ethan David. Brooks has got his second goal of the season and the Warriors have a one nothing lead four minutes into this opening frame. Third to the middle, McMaster pressured off the puck by McDonald, but it's forced ahead on the left wing side. The Warriors gather it up. Here's Moriello, who was tied up from behind there by third, who was able to will the puck ahead on the right wing side for Parks. Dropped it off. Milburn, top of the right circle, cuts to the left side. He scores! Regan Milburn inside the zone, cut from his right to his left, and at the top of the left circle, let a shot go past the blocker side of Justin Katz. And with 10.25 to go in this opening period, Vernon scores in four on four play, and we got a tie game, it's 1-1. Unless it's a, a barn burner of a game. Back out through center now, the Warriors trying to make their way in, drop pass, Bernadette carrying in, left wing side to the net, stop, rebound in front, scores! Ben McDonald following up on the puck, finds it loose in the slot and buries past the glove side of David. 15-34 to go in the second. McDonald's got the marker. It's his fifth of the year, and it's a 2-1 Warrior lead. Nice shot, too. And that uh, Ben McDonald can shoot the puck. Really smooth, smooth hockey player. And Bobby May around the boards, left wing side. Alexi Van Hukachero up the left wing. Nice pass for Jaden Moriello in left circle. A shot stopped by David as he was able to catch it with his right shoulder and got a piece of it. Pass the, that gets past Lafron Blois. There's a chance either way. Luke Packlock to the front of the net. Backhand scores. Right in on goal is Lee Parks, who buries the backhander past the glove side of Justin Katz. And just like that, moments after the Warriors take a one goal lead, Parks ties the game for Vernon once more. It's 2 2. Nice play by Parks, actually, when he got in. Really a, a, a well. Puck back inside of the Warriors uh, zone, knocked bad, out bad there joke. by Reeves. Hey, I'm full of them. As Reeves back down below the goal line with it now. Left wing side, it goes for Matt Fusco. Fusco working his way out of his own zone. Out to center, will dump the puck in. Uh, over the stick of the goaltender in David. Back below the goal line. Devlin steals centering pass, scores! What a play below the goal line by Luke Devlin, who centers the pass in front, and it's Riley Lusiak who puts it through David and in. And with 4.51 to go in the second, the Warriors jump back up by a goal. It's 3-2 West Kelowna. That was and a big penalty kill here for West huge, Kelowna. Huge. Uh, they've got to they've copy the Vipers' penalty kill. The Vernon's had a strong one so far tonight. They're 5-for-5 five five on the PK. This is only the second power play opportunity for Vernon. Milburn, high slot, a shot stopped by Katz, rebound, scores! Luke Packelick at the side of the net, just four seconds into the power play on the shot that came from the point by Milburn. Packelick able to bury it past the glove side of Katz, and four seconds into the power play, it's a 3-3 game as the Vipers once again battle their way back to tie this hockey game, and Packelick's got the marker. Dylan Brooks in the high slot, a shot knocked down, loose puck in front. Devlin just forced it wide from the front of the goal. Puck comes back along left wing side. There with that is Lusiak, high slot. Norlin a shot, that was blocked down as Singleton got in front of that. Comes free left wing Lusiak, left point. Brooks to the net, he scores! Dylan Brooks, his second of the game. Just under five minutes into the third, the Warriors back on top, 4-3. Wow, what happened to Dylan Brooks tonight? Loose puck in the left wing circle now. Taking that over here is Fusco. Played it across on the right side. Karam is able to get a stick on it to force it back out to center. Third, ahead through the middle. Back on the right wing now is Cleves. Cleaves the back along right side. Tanaka Campbell to the front of the net. Great save by Katz. What a stop on Lee Parks, who was going to the front of the goal. Redirected that puck on. 
Cats is able to squeeze it and hang on. 9.57 to go here in the third. And the Warriors up by a goal. 4-3 West Kelowna the lead. Pass just out of the reach of Cleves. 10 seconds to go here in the third. Cleves right side through the middle. Back with that. Elliott a shot. That was blocked by Karan. Cleared out to center by the Warriors. And the buzzer will sound. It's over. The Warriors win it. 4-3 the final score as Regan Milburn has an issue with Felix Caron after the buzzer. Luke Devlin coming over to have a conversation with him.